Hi everyone, uh, this is just a very quick video to get you started um, with the forecasting material for HSMA4. Um, so this video is just going to show you two quick and easy ways to be able to run the code um, from the forecasting section of the course in the cloud. So you don't have to install anything on your own computer, you don't even have to download any code if you don't want to. Um, so the two ways are to use Google Colab or to use Binder, and both have their pros and cons. So I'm here on the Module 9A uh, repo within the HSMA organization on GitHub. Um, if you scroll down past the list of files, you'll come to a preview pane that shows me the README file. Um, that's got an introduction to how to set this up on your own computer, which I'll cover in a separate video. But the thing we're interested in here is launch notebooks in Google Colab. Um, so Google Colab is effectively Jupyter in the cloud, um, curated and provided by Google. So you'll see a list of lectures, practicals and solutions, and next to each of those um, notebook titles is a badge that says open in Colab. So this is the tool that you use to access a runnable version of the code in the cloud. Um, uh, so Google Colab has cut down its free version recently. So what I recommend is that you only have one Google Colab notebook open at a time. Um, we want to keep our GitHub repo page open. So I'm going to recommend that you right click on a badge and click on open link in new tab. So what that will do is it will go away to Google and it will launch your notebook. Uh, now there's a caveat to using Go Google Colab and that is you need to be signed into a Google Colab or Google, just a general Google account. So you need a Google account. You need to give Google some of your details about who you are. So once you've done that and logged in, you can start running the code. The easiest way to do that is to select a cell just like you would do in Jupyter. Uh, Colab has a nice little play button next to the cell. You just click on that. Um, the first time you do that in a notebook, it will warn you that the notebook is not authored by Google. Um, don't worry about that. In general, that's probably a good thing. Click run anyway, uh, and it will run the cell for you, just like it would in JupyterLab. So um, I've said here, ideally, you would be using um, a, a version of Pandas around 1.2. Uh, it's a bit difficult to control that in Colab. Uh, we've got 1.1.5 here. What I can say is my testing of this means it's, it's absolutely fine to use Co Colab for these exercises and lectures. Okay, so that is Colab. Um, another option is to use Binder. Um, so Binder is a free service where it will launch the GitHub repo in the cloud um, and that means we can uh, have the appearance of using JupyterLab, but the, the kernel and the code is not located on our local machine. It's located on a server in the cloud provided by free by MyBinder. So there's a badge here at the top of the readme file, which you can click on, and that will launch the repo in Binder for you. Um, I recommend again, right clicking on that and open a new lab uh, tab. Uh, so what Binder does is it builds an image and hosts that in the cloud for you. Um, so that's going to take a few minutes um, to run. So I've done that in advance. So be patient there, maybe put the kettle on while that, while that happens. Um, so when it launches, it'll look something like this. Uh, you'll be in the top level folder. You'll see very much what you would see on your local machine if you downloaded the repo. Um, so we have a list of folders and files. Um, if, for example, we wanted to um, open the first code along lectures, which is uh, pandas, we can do so. Um, and we click on a cell and we run it exactly as, as we would run it in JupyterLab. So we can either click on the play button or press shift enter. Uh, so here we've got pandas version 1.2.3. I knew that was going to be the case ahead of time because I control what version of the libraries pandas uses. Sorry, uh, binder users. Uh, and that's it. So you will use it very much as you would use um, a normal notebook. 
um, you may need to download your practicals at the end um, because you won't be able to save in the cloud. Um, so I would recommend doing the exercises if you're using Binder and then going to the file download option to download that notebook to your local machine. So that's it, two simple ways to uh, run the course in the cloud.